Hello Galactic Family. Greetings, Masters. I am Metatron, Angel of Light and I am accompanied, in this session, by Ty Baran of the Crystalline Service. Beloved human beings, among the creative works available to the soul in the cosmos, Omniverse Vivo, and Omni Earth, none offers more benefits than musical expression. Certain forms of music, now called classical music and new age music, actually stimulate and regenerate the life force and synchronicity of the cells of the human brain and the physical body. And so this crystalline musical pattern reverberates in the body-mind-soul trinity, as well as balancing and stimulating the chakra system in a way that surpasses its current understanding. Humans who regularly hear improved forms of music, which can be called the crystalline pattern, remain healthier and mentally vibrant for longer than those who do not. In fact, such musical rhythms are creation codes that revitalize the cells of the human body itself and perfect the cognitive response of the brain. In fact, as the human body ages, visual spatial memory generally decreases, the memory of recent facts becomes less fluent, less functional. Certain forms of music preserve the cognitive function of the brain, reducing neurodegenerative conditions throughout the physical biological journey. A classic and extraordinary example of the perfected musical pattern is found in Beethoven's Ninth Symphony, O to Joy, not only in the harmonic flow of the orchestra's musical notes, but in its combination with that of the human voices, the chorus. The Ode to Joy contains the full spectrum of life creation codes. If we could see music in physical dimensions, Beethoven's Ninth Symphony would appear tangibly, from beginning to end, exhibiting the complex living force of the full range of colors and shapes of the codes of universal creation. We assure you that, on the higher planes, music is not only heard but seen in colors and geometric forms. Music and pure sound balance the human trinity and harmonize synergistically the 33 chakras, leading them to a greater alignment, perfecting communication with what may be called other realities in higher consciousness. Insert when Edgar Case was asked about the attributes of classical music, he replied know that these classical symphonies are the realm of creative energies. Reading EC 5265-1 The knowledge of harmonious music as a healing and regenerating force, of geometric mathematical vibration, was well familiar to the more advanced ancient societies. The Greek mathematician and philosopher, Pythagoras, has clearly taught that everything in the cosmos is composed of geometry, mathematics and sound. We assure you that this includes human biology and physique, as well as non-physical matter. Music and sound are transdimensional, multidimensional. Sound is correlated with light and color. Harmonic music, as you know in the third dimension, is an external expression of a much more complex vibratory essence, a complex resonant frequency form of sound light, which originates from what can be called the creative source. It is a source of energy, a vital force and therefore, as we have said before, it is an excellent therapy, which is available to you and yet rarely used. Most humans only recognize music according to the emotions it brings, and indeed music has the vibratory ability to stimulate and evoke emotional reactions. It is a source of life, sound can be a life-giving giver, indeed, certain musical patterns attract and cause a secondary amplification or impulse, bringing a kasha or additional units of consciousness to the essence of the human being. So understand that sound is vibration and that vibratory resonance affects every cell in the human body. Therefore, you do not perceive the sound simply with the ears, but also with the cells, organs and all the components of your physical body and non-physical aura. Forgotten Sound Attributes 
More ancient societies recognized the myriad uses and complexities of the power of sound. The Atlanteans understood that the sound, projected through crystals, had the ability to perform tasks that are far beyond the knowledge of conventional science accepted in today's academic circles. Tiberon of Atlantis and the priests and priestesses scientists of the Atlara were well aware that there really is an interconnection between sound and times of linear time. By attuning to a specific form of the music of certain celestial spheres, by means of complex, harmonized crystals, eons of linear time can arise, which can be isolated and penetrated through time portals. Edgar Case referred vaguely to the Atlanteans by actuating portals, which were actually very complex, various gates using crystals, specific prisms, light and refined sound, to reach not only dimensions, but space and time. Refined crystalline sound rays of concentrated coherent sound waves can be used both to attract and to separate certain elements from others, to isolate them from others. In Atlantis the rays of sound were used to attract moisture, such as aquifers and rain, in certain agricultural regions that would otherwise be too arid to support the development of plantations. The sound was used in the application of anti-gravity in the construction of the Atlantean pyramids. And the Egyptian pyramids used Atlantean technology. Sound rays can be used to open paths within both microscopic and macroscopic dimensions and can be applied to change the molecular structure of matter itself. The Atlanteans used a kind of sonar not only to identify elements, gases, minerals and water, but also to transform, condense, collect, and relocate fluids, gases, and certain metals. They used what their current science calls harmonic oscillation laws. Edgar Case even referred to the use of metals and invisible elements in the advanced crystal technology by the Atlanteans. These became invisible through light sound acoustic ray technology. Sadly, all this knowledge and technology were misused, leading Atlantis to two of the three ruptures and floods caused by tsunamis that caused its sadness. But to be clear, this is a technology that, when applied wisely, offers tremendous benefits. In fact, sound has a very varied hierarchy, a much wider and more complex spectrum than you imagine as a musical scale. Certain sounds bind elements. Certain acoustic waves can be used to act as bundles of attraction. The pyramids of Egypt and some of Central and South America, as well as the pyramids still uncovered in Turkey, still project an inaudible sound wave technology, which, if visible, would give the impression of steps, particularly in the stepped pyramids. The heavier sounds are in the lower parts, and progressively progress to a higher or lighter frequency toward the top. These sound vibrations play the fundamental role in the construction, as well as in the inter-, intra- and multidimensional aspects and purposes of the pyramids. The complex crystal sounding sound waves, projected by the combinations of sounds, were conducted and employed in such a way that an anti-gravitational effect was created at the center of the focus of the sonorous ray and around the periphery, whereby the building blocks of crystalline granite and crystalline limestone were raised and seated intrinsically. In these applications, specific octaves or structures of sonorous rays move vertically, up or down and other constructed sonorous rays were employed to bind and adhere the composite elements. And this is how many structures of the ancient megalithic world dispensed with the need for mortar or cement. Each utility of the sound wave had a clear application, an implicit technical utility, and the purpose of expanding consciousness. Interphase Points 
There are certain points in the ground plane which are differentiated by having immense vibration fields in which the realities are interconnected and the life force is concentrated in a unique, unique way. These points were recognized by the Atlanteans and also by the beings of the Syrian Pleiadian Arcturian Alliance, who are the guardians of this planet. We have already cited and referred to these points in other channels. They include the areas known as Minas Gerais, Brazil, the Crystal Vortex of Arkansas, parts of the southwest United States, Spain, Tibet and some other areas. These are regions in which specific sounds of light are established, which enable the quickest manifestation of thought in reality, as well as of portals to other realities. In the Crystal Vortex of Arkansas, there are indeed what can be called stationary waves, which create numerous anomalies in the planetary gravitational field through the forces of acoustic crystals, piezoelectricity and piezoluminescence. Its dominant conventional science is still a long way from rediscovering several fascinating aspects of crystalline acoustics. The sound of crystalline light is the key to many portals weather portals and stellar portals on your planet. Sound plays a key role in certain points of power. And when combinations of light and crystalline sound occur in such complex frequency energies, as in those of Arkansas, Brazil, and others, an energetic induction of biological regeneration and manifestation of creative thinking becomes available to mankind in these areas. The Atlanteans knew this, and used those areas accordingly. These energy amalgams were used not only for technology but also for mental stimulation, health revitalization, and even rejuvenation of the physical body. We will talk about this in the second part of this channeling. Natural Cure Through Sound Please take note. Your current society uses chemicals for most treatments of physical and mental imbalances. We assure you that earlier civilizations, from the duality stages of Atlantis, Rama, and Mu, used sound in these cases. Natural sounds bring a state of well-being, most of you recognize it. People feel more relaxed, calm and relaxed, when they are at the seashore listening to the rhythm of the waves and sleep more deeply listening to the rainfall for example the healing of nature by the natural sound occurs when one takes time to walk through a forest perceiving the sound of the wind through the trees listening to the melodious singing of birds the soothing chirping of frogs and crickets humanity does not really need drugs to achieve balance in such acoustic environments, the mind will liberate itself and naturally enable the soul's profound therapy. In a natural process such as this, the mind will not redirect anxiety thoughts, but will trigger an individualized flow releasing appropriate thoughts and images, which will offer solution and personalized therapy for each individual situation, for the healing of each person. We understand that in modern culture and times, walking through natural settings does not fit easily into everyday activities. If this applies to you, know that a song like Ode to Joy can offer the same important benefits gained by walking in nature as well as other benefits of different species found only in this extraordinary symphony composition. When you feel bored, anxious or depressed, Classical music and nature are far more beneficial than any artificial chemical treatment. By itself, these sounds will allow you to face the source of the negative feelings and beliefs that led you to the imbalance of anxiety or depression. The approaches currently accepted by his medicine and psychology generally avoid this process, avoiding confrontation with the origin. These therapies offer a temporary solution changing the vibratory pattern through the ingestion of chemical elements, not allowing the true solution to face the issue and mentally working the problem. 
certain specific sounds of music and nature allow the listener to rise to a state of mind that enables him to reflect deeply on his own issues, to travel completely through them, and to come up with personal solutions, and thus achieve a more lasting resolution and a more balanced sustainable development. Unfortunately, most humans today are programmed to believe in drug therapy in which the problems are chemically and temporarily erased, denying the individual the natural solutions to the mental process of confrontation available in sound acoustics and nature. We urge you to find the healing that is at your disposal in the sound. Keep sound and hope. Dear human being, sound therapy is powerfully beneficial powerful and exceptionally efficient, because it strongly influences your auric field and the Americana or body of crystalline light. Master, the understanding of aura maintenance is fundamental for merging and developing into high planetary dimensionality, and for the necessary multidimensional perception now available in the new Earth of 2017 and beyond. Dear human beings, in this new time, at the dawn of the crystalline age, you must be vigilant and proceed with hope and confidence. For, as they enter 2038, the fifth root race of crystalline biology will begin to transform humanity, which will require access to Marikana. Therefore, your disciplined effort will be necessary in this change. Dear ones, it is imperative that you progress in understanding the crystalline field and the 33 chakra system. Crystalline sound is an ally in this transforming change, and part of the growth. Pure sounds benefit their emotional bodies as well as their physical bodies. Biological and emotional imbalances are always the source of any physical illnesses. And when they learn to naturally heal their emotional bodies, not only will the biophysical symptoms evaporate, but the sounds will also lead them to shift to silicon crystal based biology. Shutting down. A wonderful age is before you. Do not give up hope, for however chaotic these days may seem in these times of cleansing, a golden age is indeed coming and is much closer than you can imagine. Masters, in the second part of this channeling, we will speak in more detail about the acoustics of the earth plane and its relationship with the future of humanity in the next golden age. I am Matatran, accompanied by Tai Baran of the Crystalline Service. We are always with you. You are deeply loved, and so it is, and that's how.